Ladies and gentlemen, we talked about negation. Um, if I ride a roller coaster, then I would get sick. Where the hypothesis is our P, and our conclusion was Q. Now we talked about conditional was if P, then Q. But there's a couple others that we have to go over. So the next one is what we call the converse. And the converse is if Q, then P. Then we have the inverse. The inverse is going to be negation of P. If not P, then not Q. And then the last one we have is the contrapositive. And the contrapositive is if not Q, then not P. All right? So we already gave examples of the two negations, right? So let's go and take a look at what are some examples of the converse. So if my conditional statement is right here, and my conditional statement says, if I ride a roller coaster, then I will get sick. Where P, or where P is, I ride a roller coaster, and Q is, I will get sick. So therefore, the converse is going to be, if I get sick, then I rode a roller coaster. Yes? The inverse is now we're going to have to negate these. So I have to negate. So negating P is, remember, I did not ride a roller coaster. And negating Q is, I did not get sick. So if I did not ride a roller coaster, then I did not sick. And last one to do, ladies and gentlemen, is the contrapositive, which means I have to do the opposite of Q and the opposite of P. So the opposite of Q is I will not get sick. So if I did not get sick, then I did not ride a roller coaster. So if I did not get sick, Then I did not ride a roller coaster. Cool? Yes? Awesome. So what I'm going to do is let's see one, two, three, four, five. What I'll do is now I'll give you guys a problem up there. Go ahead and do.